Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today we're going to do part two of our spelling words and phonics practice for first grade journeys lesson one. And you're going to do words 13 through 24 for the informational text, What is a Pal? Before this lesson, you will need a pencil and a piece of paper where you're going to write numbers one to 24. So if you need to push pause, then get a pencil and a piece of paper, write numbers 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And your goal is to write each of the spelling and phonics words correctly as you see them. And then my challenge at the end of the lesson, at the end, you will need either crayons or your pencil. And you're going to rainbow write your words three more times. One, two, three. Now, if you have a teacher that gave you these worksheets where you rainbow write and match with a line, the pictures, you will need three crayons and you will use those crayons to rainbow write and match the words below. So here's our learning target. I can correctly read and spell first grade words with short A as in apple, a, a, apple, and consonants N, 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 and D. D, D, D. How will you know you're successful at re correctly reading and spelling first grade words with short A as an apple and consonants N and D? Well, here's our success criteria. Here's our roadmap to success. It's like climbing a learning mountain. And here's the steps we're gonna do. I will read and say each word. I will spell and write each word, either on your piece of paper or your worksheet. I will do my best, and my challenge today is to write each of the words three more times when we're done with the lesson. Words with short A, 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 a as in apple, and a, a, a as in astronaut, and consonants N, n, n nest, and D, d, d dog. So here's number 13. What do you think that is? It's an animal. The animal is a ram, R-A-M, spell it, R-A-M, ram. It has the eh, eh, am chunk in it. Stretch it out, ram. I'm stretching out a rubber band or a slinky. I'm taking my hands and I'm stretching it out, ram. And then when I shrink, I clap, ram. So I stretch it out, say it slow. Ram. Say it fast and shrink it. Ram. If you need to, push pause and spell ram. R A M. Number 14. It rhymes with ram. Number 14. Ram and jam. J A M. That person is putting jam on their toast. J A M. Ram. Jam, jam, shrink it, jam. I'm stretching it like a rubber band, jam. Now I'm shrinking it and clapping, saying it fast, jam. I see strawberry jam and grape jam, J-A-M. And again, if you need more time, push pause. Number 15, these are all examples of what? C-A-T, it has the at chunk in it, the at word family, cat, C-A-T. I'm going to stretch it like a rubber band and say it slow, cat, say it fast, shrink it, cat, stretch it out, cat, shrink it, cat, C-A-T. Number 16 is going to rhyme with cat, cat and Mat. Those are all examples of a type of mat, kind of like a rug. Mat. M-A-T. Mat. Stretch it out. 
Matt. Shrink it. Say it fast. Matt. Stretch it out again. Matt. Shrink it. Matt. M A T. Matt and cat. Rhyme. Number 17. Oh, it's going to rhyme with cat and mat. Rat. Stretch it out. Rat. Shrink it. Rat. R A T. Rat, cat, mat. They all write. They all belong to the at word family. Number 18. Cat, mat, rat, and these are all examples of what? Hat. Hat. H A T is a member of the word, the at word family. Stretch it out. Hat. Shrink it. Hat. Again, stretch it out. Hat. Shrink it. Hat. H A T. If you need to push pause, do so. Number 19. Number 19, if you look up on a billboard, you see a, an ad, ad, the Coca-Cola ad, the McDonald's ad, the ad in the newspaper, it says your ad here, ad, it's short for advertisement, ad, stretch it out, ad, shrink it, ad, stretch it out, ad, shrink it, ad, ad. Short for advertisement. They are advertising their product. Number 20. Going to, it is going to rhyme with ad. Ad and the baby and the bear and the boy are all sad. 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 S A D. Sad. Sad. Sad, S-A-D, sad and ad rhyme. Number 21, this also rhymes with sad and ad, kind of the opposite emotion of sad. The girl is, the boy is, the bear is, you got it, mad, 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 again. Mad, mad, M A D, mad, sad, ad. They all rhyme. Number 22. Blank astronaut, blank apple, blank ant. I'll begin with a, a, a. An, an astronaut, an apple. An ant, an, A-N, stretch it out, an, 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 an. All right, 23 is going to rhyme with an. What is that? These are all examples of what? Can, C-A-N, an, can. An, can, C-A-N, stretch it out, can, shrink it, can, stretch it out, can, shrink it, can. Have you ever had a can of beans or a can of tuna or soup from a can? I know I have. And the last one, number 24. It is the past tense of run. You do it in the past. And, and, what are they all doing? Ran, ran. The past tense of run is ran. If you ran, that means you already did it. Ran, stretch it out. Ran, shrink it. Ran, ran, shrink it. Ran. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Ran. 
R A N. Okay, well, it's time to reflect. If you notice, there's Winnie the Pooh and Tigger too, and they're looking at their reflection. That means they're looking at themselves and they're thinking about their learning. How did you do today? Let's reflect. Let's think about our learning. Our learning target was I can correctly read and spell first grade words with short A, a, a apple, and consonants N, 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 N D, 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 D. So how would you grade yourself? Would you give yourself a four? I could teach this lesson. I was able to read, write, and spell all the words easily and correctly. Or would you give yourself a three? I was able to read, write, and spell most of the words correctly. Or two, I was able to read, write, and spell some of the words correctly. Or one, I was not able to read, write, and spell any of the words correctly. Give yourself a grade, four, three, two, or one. If you want, you can watch this video again. My challenge now, boys and girls, is for you to rainbow write each one of your words three more times, either with crayons or with your pencil, so that you know them very well. Thank you for uh, reading and writing and spelling with me today. Have a great day.